What's happening guys? I'm Dan. Welcome back to another episode of Poor Michigan Reviews. We're dealing with a beer spur of the moment guys. I saw this in stock today. Had no idea it was coming out from Bell's. It is quite bright. Kind of their new rotational Belgian-y wheat beer in the series, guys. There's things like uh, Oberon, of course. Um, they added Rind Over Matter. There was Winter White, which is now um, Bright White, if I'm not mistaken. So now this one, instead of Bright White, is quite bright. So yeah, guys, a Belgian-inspired wheat ale uh, coming in around 10 to $11 per six pack. This is 5% ABV, and it was canned on 9922. Today is the 22nd um, yeah, of September, if I'm not mistaken. So losing some days here, losing track of days. Um, not gonna go into it again. I really didn't know this was coming out, but here we are reviewing another belgian -y wheat beer from Bell's, guys. So we're diving in. Hope you guys are doing well. Got off of work quite early today. I've actually jumped on the elliptical already and I thought I'd treat myself with a beer and review it for you guys. So, certainly hazy. Looks like a more yellowy golden Oberon, guys. Not quite as orange. It's gonna be more of that New England style look. Looks like a New England style IPA. Uh, very, very bright golden, um, dark, yeah, not dark, bright yellow, bright golden yellow. You guys can see it. A um, little bit of orange in there, but really uh, more of that golden yellow with a crazy foamy sudsy, very, very bright white sticky head on the top there, guys. Um, quite dense and creamy that head. You guys can see that. It looks pretty nuts. Um, good carbonation stream into the top. Um, I'm definitely seeing some uh, hazy, hazy, haziness and definitely some carbonation. So let's go to an aroma. Smells like a German beer for sure, guys. Like it's it's a lot more Belgian funk than we're accustomed to seeing from Bells. I think it is closer to that bright white category, but honestly, it might even be more of a Belgian vibe than that one. It smells like a straight beer from out of country, guys. It doesn't even smell like an American beer, to be quite honest. Like you can tell that Belgian yeast is very apparent in this beer um, tremendously. Nice light peppercorn, a little bit of like spice in there. A little bit of like um, bright citrus as well. It smells good. It smells exactly how it should, um, but even a little bit more funk than I'd imagine. So let's dive in guys. It's the brand new Quite Bright from Bells. Cheers. Oh wow. It's definitely like that Belgian-y yeasty estery goodness, it's definitely there. But actually, the middle is extremely creamy and smooth. I wasn't expecting that mouthfeel. Like usually you get some like higher acidity, some denseness and maltiness to the beer. It actually is quite light. Uh, a dash lemony fruitiness in the middle. I don't know, I don't, I'm not really forming sentences properly here, but there's nice lemony creaminess in the middle, almost like a, um, a, a lemon creamsicle kind of vibe. Um, it flows through the middle really well, more like a lager, and it finishes with that nice light, um, kind of yeasty breadiness on the back end, but it's super smooth through the middle after all the smells I was getting from that Belgian funk. Uh, the mouthfeel is actually what's sticking out after the first sip of this beer, guys. It's fantastic mouthfeel. Yeah, the mouth feels killer on this beer. Uh, what a fantastic beer at 5%. If you like Belgian beers, it actually smells a little bit funkier than you would typically think um, after drinking it. It actually settles down a little bit in the mouthfeel. Um, but again, that creamy mouthfeel is the most dominating um, great factor of this beer. I would say that sticks out um, more than anything else about the beer. But yeah, you get that little light, light white peppercorn that's in there, a little bit of that spice, you know, those baking spices, just a little bit. Um, almost that clovey uh, Oberon kind of vibe in there, that nice soothing wheat in the middle. Um, a little bit of bright lemon and creamy, creamsicle lemon through the middle. But again, guys, that Belgian yeast is there. It's it's soothing, the mouth feels soothing. Um, it's actually a damn good beer. Damn good beer from uh, Bell's, I'm not gonna lie. Mouthfeel wins it for me. Obviously the wheat beer 
you have some of that uh, smoothness that comes with it, with that category. Uh, but this one, for some reason, I, I love this mouthfeel more than most of any of the other Bell's beers that they've done, uh, including in this category. So fantastic beer, actually, from these guys. Uh, and super drinkable at 5%. Um, and it's it's showing. So as for a rating, guys, I'm not gonna go on too much longer. It's enough talking. Uh, this is good, man. I, I'm gonna go with a three nine out of five. I think this is one of the better beers you're gonna get from Bell's in this category for that price point. And uh, get it while you can, guys. It's a rotational. Don't know how long it's gonna be around, but it's in stores now. So check it out. Thanks for being here, guys. You know what it is. It's been another review. I'm Dan. I'm over and out. Catch you on the next one. Cheers.